Klein, Falbo, and I am the owner of La Vintage Decor. And I'm here with Sarah Vogel, and she also is a hometown uh, creative uh, on 11th Avenue, same avenue, same side of the street. We're neighbors. And, yeah, we are. Yeah, we're just a block apart. But, um, but you know, lemons and art have brought us together. Yes, <laughs> lemons, which you'll see here soon. Like I said, they're usually bitter, but today I think it's pretty sweet. Yes, <laughs> so. very much so. There's definitely some lemonade happening from yeah, this lemon. Yeah, yes. Um, so uh, my, my channel, people know that I am a watercolor artist. That's primarily what I do. Um, LaVon can tell you a little bit more about what she does as a creative, and then we'll kind of tell you about our awesome project. Well, I'm uh, what I consider an artistry furniture painter. So I take older pieces of furniture, which traditionally are better made than the furniture that's made nowadays, and I do a lot of creative painting on it. It isn't just uh, designs or colors. It's, it's now getting a little more creative, a little more artistry involved. So um, I guess to start things off, that's what attracted me to Sarah as far as uh, this project goes because and I did wear my honorary lemon shirt <laughs> but I saw that um, Sarah was doing some watercolor all over patterns of fruits and I did see that she had a lemon but I kind of forgot and I saw her peaches and I asked her if she did any lemons and she said yes I did yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so I was really interested in working with LaVon because her pieces are really unique and interesting and I really love vintage furniture to begin with because it is made so much better. Um, my grandfather is a carpenter, I was a carpenter for years and years and years and so I have such an appreciation for well-made furniture mm -hmm. but then she puts this new twist on it and it's really fun and bright um, but I have this lemon painting that I did. I'm going to get a little closer yeah, here. Original. This is the original. And this was just a fun little doodle that I did one sunny day. And I'm going to put the video on how I made this in here soon. Um, but I've been wanting to do more patterns because they're useful for things like what LaVon and I are doing. And I can get fabrics made out of them or pillows or whatever. So there's, they're just more functional. Yeah. Um, but the lemon was inspired because it was just a bright sunny day. I was sitting in front of my window and I said, let's just doodle some fruit. Yeah, and like we were saying, lemons are really in right now. So we are. You know, we just have sure. to be trendy. Yes, <laughs> by accident we're trendy. <laughs> so that inspired me to, um, to think about this one particular piece of furniture that I had. So I guess I have a reputation as being somewhat of a, I won't say junk collector, but I always say I have to save the orphan furniture. You yeah, because know? So you see purpose for things. Yeah, absolutely. So when someone has a piece of furniture that they say they threaten the dumpster, I can't, you know, I just can't let that happen. She so can't I say have now. to, yes, that's exactly. <laughs> I always ask everybody, have you seen the movie Oklahoma? You know, because I'm not. just a girl who can't say no. That's the, <laughs> that's my theme. I think there's a lot of uh, really cool qualities though about wanting to like rescue things and wanting to mm -hmm. redeem things that are old or broken or. Yeah. Um, and I think that's even biblical. So. Well, it can be an interesting journey too because I actually um, had to take a well, <laughs> actually Susan, <laughs> one of the girls that works at the shop, took the ancient wasp nest out of the back of it because I think oh my these goodness. pieces have been living outside. Like in a barn or just outside? I no, I don't exactly know. They were in rough shape. So, so this there were some piece, tenants in this piece of furniture. Yes, yes. <laughs> so in this piece, um, it was missing a door. So that's when I suggested to Sarah that she have some paper made and mm -hmm. all from, you know, an all over pattern from her watercolor so that um, I could line that missing section and have it be a feature instead of a problem. So I had this same pattern printed on, um, I guess, a whole bunch of wallpaper. Yeah. And she is utilizing that on the interior of this piece where right. that door is missing. And you went through Spoonflower, right? Yes, Spoonflower. 
Yeah, I just there's some other ones out there you can use, like Zazzle and, you know, I had heard of Spoonflower too. I've used Zazzle before and then never Spoonflower, but... Um, yeah, it was, I mean, they were really easy to work with. It was a simple, just, you know, up so upload the design, the design mm -hmm. figure out how much I needed and um, how big I wanted the lemons on the paper. It was very straightforward and very easy. Yeah. So, um, and you're able to use that same site to have fabric done yes, as well? Yes, I did have a sample of the lemon fabric made on cotton, which I think would be really fun for an apron or yeah. hot pads or something. All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're sparking all kinds of creativity. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you mentioned um, biblical about the furniture. So what do, what do you mean by that? So I think that that is basically the story of salvation to take something that is broken and unworthy and redeem it into something that is a new creation. That's salvation right there. So I think when you can see purpose and hope in something that is broken or discarded, that that's just a reminder of what Jesus did for us. That's, that's beautiful. I'll tell you, I, I, I before I had said uh, that that's one of the things I really like about Sarah and I respect it about her is, you know, a lot of people when they're in business, I guess, uh, you know, speaking about trends, sometimes it's not very trendy to mention God, but, you know, I yeah. guess we both believe that uh, we wouldn't be here without and, yeah, you I know, was, we've been blessed. <laughs> yeah, I was telling LaVon that when we had this conversation initially that I can't discredit what God has done to take me to where I'm at now. Like, I can't tell the story without that. It wouldn't make sense. So, right. yeah. You know, I appreciate I'm... that about her as well. <laughs> well, I always say the prayer of Jabez, and I ask God to bless me abundantly and increase my territory mm -hmm. and be with me always and keep me from evil. And I think he always, every day, holds true to those to those requests. Yes, <laughs> so. definitely. But we were really excited about this collaboration because I think we both feel it's really important for creatives to collaborate, um, to just brainstorm together. It creates a wider footprint for us, like you're just talking about what you're praying for. Mm -hmm. um, it, it just creates new and better ideas. So, yeah. Absolutely. Whether you're on the same avenue or whether it's uh, on the internet globally, I actually, before I came here today, was watching a live video from England and I've sort of made friends with a fellow furniture mm -hmm. painter who started her own furniture line, but I've been seeing these amazing mannequins that they've done these molds on. That's and so cool. Yeah, and this video happened to be the same um, person that did these video or did these mannequins and I saw their amazing studio and you know we're having a conversation. It's just it's just a really cool thing to collaborate with people. So you know. yeah, and it, I think it helps us grow as an art, as individually as artists too, because it challenges us in different ways. Because what Levon does creatively is very different than what I do creatively. So to see what how she's using what I do in what she does, that's going to grow both of us. So absolutely, yeah. I think it's really cool to be able to look at someone else's work and and be inspired. Mm -hmm. You know, really to say. Boy, I could do that with that, but I just, and you know, that's the thing. I'm not, uh, I don't know how to really sit down with paper and a brush, the watercolor paper, or really just to sketch quite like that. Mm -hmm. But yet, when I have a piece of furniture and the brush in my hand, somehow I can do that. So it's just, um, you know, the things that, I might not be good at doing, or you might not be go good at doing, you know, when we collaborate, then who knows what we're It's a win-win. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, have you already started on your I have. part of the And I project? have a really weird process, and I always tell people, well, don't want to see this in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> does it get worse before it gets better? It, it always does. Well, I do a lot in home design, too, and that's really the case with that. Yeah. With furniture, it's a little bit different. But um, one of the challenges that I'm facing with this piece is the fact that it's so old. Um, it's I think it's tiger maples, maple. So it has a beautiful grain in the wood, and I'm going to try to salvage the parts that I can so that you can see that beautiful Oh, brand. that would be amazing. Yeah, but yeah. the problem with the way it has weathered is the varnish that's been on there 
has really dried. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's almost like it has you this. You can strip that off. You don't really have to strip it, just uh, clean it well, sand it. But I have a product called Boss, and it's supposed to prevent bleed through. Mm -hmm. So the problem with these older woods is that the tannins in the wood sometimes will bleed through the paint. So the background of this, and part of my process that I did to select the colors, I mean, I literally just held the wallpaper there and my jars of paint and just, you know, pulled the ones that I felt would be, you know, the right ones. But it's the whitest white. It's called cotton. It's the background. And the tannins are bleeding mm -hmm. through. I've actually experienced that, not in furniture, but in, um, like, the frame on a window. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had issues with that in our home, so I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, doing. and sometimes if it's a cherry wood, you can end up with a pink piece, but yeah. in this case, it's bleeding through a little yellow, so that's kind of, that's kind not, of not a bad win. thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. Not bad about that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, you'll share the rest of your video with yeah, us. Yeah, I'm thinking a good way for us to do this is um, when we make our videos we can share each other's links in the description so you can subscribe to both of our channels and yes. you can like our videos and share them with all your friends yes for sure and this piece will be for sale when it's done too yeah and hopefully we'll be able to display it at your your place of business the clay cup yeah i hope so if we can fit it in the showcase we will yeah. definitely yeah. be displaying it <laughs> so and you also have sarah vogel art yes and you are honored by a, a company in our area, Big Business Sheets, and you mm -hmm. did some art for their oil tankers, right? Yeah, their oil they're, tankers. They're, well, their gas tankers. Gas yeah. tankers, okay. Yeah, and their tractor trailers. So. I thought maybe they carried milk or something. <laughs> <laughs> My watercolor paintings grace the side of their big yeah. trucks. That's which pretty was exciting. a really cool project to be a part of. You also had um, TJ Maxx bought your design for mm -hmm. pillows, right? Yeah, I had six watercolor designs picked up by TJ Maxx that were put on pro pillows and distributed nationwide. That wow. was a year ago now already. So, I'm a, yeah, with these new patterns, I'm kind of hoping that I'll get some more licensing deals like that. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, so. cool. Okay, well, I'm still working my way up to the, uh, the ranks. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey. It's yeah. always changing. It's not something that, you, like, you could look at any artist and oh my gosh, how did they get there? And for you to get there, it's a totally different journey. So. Yeah, and sometimes it just takes one piece mm -hmm. that just like sparks somebody's yeah, interest. Viral somewhere. or crazy, you know, spark. Yeah. Cool, well it was awesome chatting today. Yes. And I can't wait to see how it all works out. We'll put the videos in um, of my lemon painting and of your creating and you'll get to see all the and fun. And I think it'll be a beautiful, uh, picture of lemonade. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to take, we'll have to take a picture with, with sure. someone. So. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. Did we, cover, did we cover all the things? I think so. So there's the piece that made my heart sing, and I wanted to paint all those swirls, and there they are. All that blended color, all inspired by the lemon wallpaper. There's the shell of the piece while it was being worked on before the paper was applied. More of that beautiful blended color in those inspiration colors. Lemonade, Florida orange. And that is the uh, Dixie Belle Howdy Ho hemp seed oil that made the top look gorgeous. Looks so fresh. The drawer fronts also got the, the hemp seed oil treatment. Not all the knobs were there, so they got a stamp on the back and used wooden knobs to replace. And that's what started it all. Look how fresh and clean. Just makes you happy when you open a drawer. And there it is, the finished piece. Is it going? You go first. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. 
It's my channel. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna do a good job. Yes. Fucking so. Fucking so. Follow Sarah's channel um, at Sarah Vogel Art on YouTube. And also subscribe to the Vintage Decor on YouTube. We'll be dropping links for Spoonflower and also for Dixie Bell Paint. And we hope you follow us on social media. Check out our website at LaVintageDecor.company, on Instagram at LaVintageDecor, and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Hit the subscribe button and also the notification.